and, and there's pleasure involved in the South. There's just total pleasure. And you can see why the food is the way it is. Uh, life is not about, you know, bearing it all, but enjoying it all. I had never really photographed in the South um, you know, before. And, but I, I did know that I was particularly interested in the vegetation and the landscape itself because I, I wanted to concentrate on uh, maybe something not overtly political or social, but the fauna and you know, flora of, of the place. I'm, I'm a big fan of Eudora Welty and uh, Fanner O'Connor and people like that who, whose writings are very much akin to in some ways what in Latin America has been called magic realism. So I did have a feeling that uh, the South would, would provide me with a certain kind of just sexiness, you know, that here in Boston we don't get. Uh, so I look forward to that. Sort of going back to my roots, I grew up in Cuba where the vegetation and the social scene was not unlike the South. For the Picture in the South uh, project, I had some, some things very much in mind and some things just happened uh, while I was there. But I, I made a, a few photographs, camera obscure photographs in Atlanta itself. It's something I've done before. And I, I still love the idea of picturing something from outside on a pri in a private setting, or like a room or a hotel room. Um, that sense of dislocation is, uh, you know, part of what I was looking for. The other work that I was actually quite pleased with was photographing it with optical devices, uh, cutting posters of vegetation and making openings so that we could see beyond into the real landscape and mixing the two. Kind of a, a magic realist approach to, to the southern landscape you know, inventiveness and, and things that are not exactly normal. Um, it's something that really drove me to make pictures. At first I thought it was gonna be just, you know, nature uh, in, in Georgia. Um, but somehow um, it, it's hard to, to abandon other ideas <laughs> and the camera obscure work feels like it's, uh, it, it's part of how I think. The curatorial uh, work, and beyond that, uh, the director's work behind what I was doing was just always first rate. There was a sense that they would facilitate anything that I needed to do. So there was just a, a green light all the time. And I usually don't have that kind of a relationship with curators, but I did this time. It felt very real, or maybe it's part of what the South provides, that sense of, you know, uh, informal uh, intellect. <laughs>